हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर उधेश सिंह एंड आई वेलकम यू टू उधेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स वी ऑलवेज फील दैट दिस वर्ल्ड इज हैविंग मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स दिस वर्ल्ड इज नॉट द बेस्ट प्लेस दिस वर्ल्ड इज नॉट अ आइडियल प्लेस यू हैव करप्शन यू हैव क्राइम यू हैव इनजस्टिस यू हैव इनइक्वलिटी यू हैव कास्टिज्म यू हैव डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी फील ऑफ एन फ्रस्ट्रेटेड how can we live in this world happily when this world is so imperfect we try to rectify the world we try to improve the world we waste our life and still we find that the world doesn't change i want to tell you a very interesting story which is told by swami vivekananda which explains very beautifully about the reality of the world there was a very poor man who was very much fed up with life so once he was narrating his problems to one of his friend and the friend said in the neighborhood there is a big saint and this saint has a jinn who is very powerful if you can get that jinn all your problems can be solved this poor man became very happy he went to the neighboring village and he start serving the saint he served him for many many months after a long time the saint became very happy he said what you want this man said sir can you give me your jinn then that saint smiled and he said i will advise you not to take the jinn it will make your life more miserable but the poor man has very high opinion about the jinn and he asked whether this jinn is powerful whether this jinn can do everything the saint said yes it is powerful but i will still advise you not to take it the poor man said no please give me the jinn then baba said okay fine then he has given him a formula and he said when you recite this formula and take this bottle the jinn will appear the man was very happy he went home kept that bottle and uttered that formula and immediately the jinn appeared jinn was very powerful he said master what is the order but before you give me the order i want to tell you about my terms and conditions I want to tell you that I am a restless jinn a very restless person you have to always give me some work the moment you can't give me any work i will kill you the man laughed loudly he says what is the problem he thought that he can give many works there is no dearth of work in this world he said no problem i accept your condition why don't you make me a good house now the jinn was very very powerful he started building the house and very quickly he was able to build the house then he said give me this furniture all that things he started asking food furniture everything was almost instantly put given now this man thought what to give then he said okay build a beautiful city and the jinn started building a city roads houses and different infrastructure by seeing his speed the man was getting nervous he stopped getting ideas as to what work he is going to give next he ran and came to the saint and he says i am very sorry that i have not accepted your advice and taken this jinn i i am not getting any idea what to what to tell the jinn he is building a city but very soon he will finish and then i don't know what next even before he completed this sentence the jinn appeared he said what is the next my master now this man was very nervous the saint told him that i had already told you not to take it he says please save my life i don't want to die the saint saw a dog moving there he cut the tail of the dog and gave to the jinn he said now make it straight the jinn made it straight but the moment he left it became again curly again made it straight again become curly the jinn started trying it days has gone month has gone years has gone he could not make it straight then he came and begged before the saint sorry i cannot follow this command he said but you said you will do anything if you can't do it then you are going back from your promise the jinn says please give me relief whatever i have done you take but please give me free i cannot straighten the curly tail of the dog this is a very famous story given by swami vivekananda then after this story swami vivekananda explains that this world is like a curly tail of dog before us many saints have come many prophets has come jesus christ buddha lord ram lord krishna so many people have come even god has taken in, uh, incarnation 
they try to make the word state but it could not make the word state the moment they left it again become curly and so he advised that don't waste your time in making this word straight because the word is designed like this curly it is our fault that we think that it should not be curly but it should be straight the fact is that the word is designed like that it has always been like that even in the time of lord ram krishna or anybody it can never be made ideal so if you waste your time for making it an ideal place it will never happen but then we saw vivekananda ask what should we do should we allow the word to be as it is bad as it is we should not do anything should not try to make it better he says no but what you have to understand that you should do the good things not to make the word better not to make it straight but to make yourself better because when you do good things you become a good person when you do bad things you become a bad person so don't do good thing because it is good for the world do good thing because it is good for you and that is the spirit with which we should work in this world not to make the world an ideal place a better place you can never do it nobody can do it but by doing the right things we become a better person so the goodness is to be done for our sake and not to be done for the other person you must have learned that every problem has a solution the problem and the solution are interlinked so if there is no solution the problem does not exist for example people will say to cure a disease a disease is a problem because it can be cured there is a solution but death it is not a problem because nobody can escape death so no no uh, you know studies are done as to how to prevent death because you can't stop it and so death is not a problem because it is certain and so you don't waste your time on that problem of death because it does not exist in the same way the inequality the justice and all that we are talking about this is going to be there this has always been there this will always be there because you cannot make everybody equally rich everybody cannot become equally handsome equally everybody cannot become equally powerful this is impossible which everybody want and everybody want to be better than everybody else how it is possible it's impossible and so let's not try to make this word perfect but rather accept the word as it is and do the good things to improve ourselves to become a better person that is the best way to live in this imperfect world so i hope that you have uh, understood the message of this lesson and not waste your time in trying to make other people better but rather make yourself better by doing good things and lead a happy life thank you very much for watching my video and please share your views thoughts and comments thank you